Four more Western New Yorkers are charged in connection with the January 6th Capitol riots. On the top left of your screen is John Duran, also known as Jack Duran. Then on the top right is Tracy Sundstrom. And on the bottom, Michael Seawalk and his son, Jason Seawalk. All four of these suspects appeared in federal court in downtown Buffalo today. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller joins us live outside the courthouse tonight with more on today's arrests and the raids, Hannah. Ashley, it was an initial court appearance for each of the four defendants here today behind me at federal court in downtown Buffalo. Each were handcuffed from the waist down, but were let out after the court appearance on their own accord with specific conditions. One of the conditions, none of them can go anywhere near Washington, D.C. Four more Western New Yorkers are now facing federal charges for participating in the Capitol riots on January 6th, according to investigators. Tracy Sundstrom of Amherst, Jack Duran of Williamsville, and father-son duo Jason Seawalk of Arcade and Michael Seawalk of Hamburg are all charged with a form of knowingly entering any restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in any restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds, and parading or picketing on Capitol grounds all misdemeanors. Court documents say investigators were tipped off that these four Western New Yorkers were inside the Capitol building that day, which prompted this FBI investigation. Along with FBI raids at their home, according to court documents, investigators used these photos to identify and match each to a time and place inside the Capitol building. Investigators say these photos show Seawalk, Sundstrom, and Duran in the Capitol on January 6th. Along with the photos from YouTube videos, Facebook Facebook Lives and CCTV footage, the criminal complaints detail how investigators say they can prove these four Western New Yorkers were inside the Capitol. Investigators say using Wi-Fi and cell phone pings, as well as Google account information, they're able to pinpoint exactly where in the federal building each of the defendants were that day. And each of the defendants are due back in court on Thursday. That court appearance will be via Zoom with judges and other members of the Justice Department in Washington, D.C. If convicted on all of the charges, each person faces a maximum of three years in jail and a couple hundred thousand dollars in fines. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.